See, stress is God's way of training you. It's, pre it's preparation. But what most people do is, see, once you get stressed, you don't want that no more. So now you give up. You threw. I'm stressed, so I don't want it. Nobody likes stress because some people just let they self go. But you got to, in order to develop and to change and to grow, stress is necessary. So you got to be willing to go get it every day. There's a story my father told me all the time. Now, I've heard it several different ways, but I'm just telling you the way my daddy gave it to me. He said, son, he said, every morning, on the plains of the eastern Serengeti Desert, there arises a gazelle that realizes that he was run faster than the fastest lion, or he will be eaten and he will die that day. On that same desert arises in the morning a lion that realizes that he must run faster than the fastest gazelle, or he will starve and he will die that day. He say, son, the moral of the story is, no matter who you is, when you wake up in the morning, you needs to be running. No matter, and he said, no matter who you is. And so what he taught me was a work ethic of, of how to work in order to get to where you want to go. You got to put yourself under some stress, though. See, stress is necessary. God is a trainer. This is what I done learned about. It. See, I'm a seed. I really am. I, see, but a seed has to be planted. A seed got to have dirt put on top of it. If you take a seed and throw it on the concrete and walk off, the sun just burn it up. But guess what? Logically, in my mind, it doesn't make sense that to grow something, you should dig a hole, put it down in there, and cover it with dirt. Logically, that don't make no sense to me. But oh, though. See, dirt is necessary for growth and development. Dirt builds character. Dirt, dirt gives you the push-through factor. Dirt makes you come with it when you don't feel like coming with it no more. And you get dirt in a lot of different ways. All of y'all that had dirt thrown on you. And dirt ain't always what you want. It's somebody talking about you down on your job. It's somebody accusing you of something that you didn't do. It's somebody telling you you ain't gonna make it. It's somebody sharing information about you that ain't true. That everybody get dirt put on them. But see, when you're getting put under that stress, please know God is always working. Kirk Franklin's song, God is always working, so I smile. Cause I know he back there. See, that dirt builds character in you. When they talking about you, it teaches you to withstand it. Then it gives you something to push through. So when you put the seed and you put the dirt on it, if you understand stress, stress really ain't just dirt. Stress, see, they don't call it dirt when they plant it. They call it soil. Because, see, soil has nutrients in it. What the nutrients, when people talking about you, dogging you, lying on you, backbiting, stealing from you, talking about you, they're actually putting nutrients in you. They're building character. You got character now. Cause now and now the seed, if they put a camera under the ground, you'd have seen the seed sprout open and start coming through the dirt because the dirt is necessary so you can prove yourself. You know, if you don't really want to be, everything you see above ground that blossoms and plants and grows and that's beautiful, it was underground one time. All them potatoes, collard greens, they was underground one time. Them apple trees, they was underground one time. So they had to prove themselves. See, you want to be successful, well then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come up through here. You got to come out. Then you sprout, and then Bishop say, then you become a tree. Next thing you know, you got fruit. So when you're under stress, take the stress for what it is. Don't get fooled. Don't just think, I oh, don't know, man, Lord must not mean for it to be. What you tripping for? What you talking about? How you think you're going to be a plant, a tree, a flower, a bush, and ain't no stress? How you going to get to be that without no dirt? I expect people to talk about me. Matter of fact, I look forward to it now. Do your thing, because if I can weather what happened to me and my family earlier, you can bring whatever you got now. There's some more stuff going around now that's about to happen. Bring it. Because now I have developed a character. 
that is stress. I have soil, enough dirt on me that has provided me with nutrients. When I left college, I flunked out of college after three years. When I worked at Ford Motor Company, one of the last jobs I had because of the layoffs was they put me in the foundry. I learned a valuable lesson in the foundry because I used to be a foundry worker at Ford Motor Company. I'm now a spokesperson for Ford. Let me tell you how to flip went. A lot of people don't know, but in the foundry, they was making engine blocks. Engine blocks start with scrap metal. See, people, you think old cars just go away. No, they go to junkyards. Companies take this scrap metal and they melt the metal down. But it starts with scrap. They run it through a furnace, and when it gets in the furnace, they liquefy the metal. Then they take this metal and they pour it into a mold. This mold is the engine block. But when you pour it in there, it's just hot. It's just hot. It ain't nothing. And you think that you can't do nothing with that. But then something comes along and gets a hold of it. Something comes and gets a hold of it. It takes this hot piece of mess that was scrap. It lifts it. It dips it. It cools it. It refinishes it. It hardens it. And then it puts it on a conveyor belt. When it come out the conveyor belt, my job was to hit it with a sludge hammer and knock the loose flashing out. That's empty, extra metal on it. And then you have an engine block. The basic of any engine is the block. You got a crack block, you can throw that engine away. It don't work. But the block starts from scrap metal. This really how God do it, though. See, God takes scrap. All engine blocks is scrap. He takes scrap. <laughs> he molded it. He poured into it. Then he come out and cool it. He shaped and he started putting stuff on it. He started attaching pieces to it. He put a manifold on it. He put the rocker arm on it. He put the exhaust on it. He put spark plugs on it. He put a carburetor on it. He put a fan belt, water pump, and he take it and he put it in a car. But all of it started when it was a piece of scrap metal, man. What we cannot do as Christians is just cause we the car now. You can't look at the dude that's in the furnace that's got that's just wet liquid. That's a hot mess. You can't look back at the scrap pile and go, they just scraps, man. Cause what you don't understand is you got to have that scrap so you can make a block. So God can put stuff on it. So when you put it on it, you can be a car one day. I just want everybody to let everybody be a block, man. Let them be a hot mess in a furnace. Let them be a scrap, man. You ain't got nothing to do with that. That's God right there, man. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all.